Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to Advanced Warfare In Depth. In today's episode, we're going to be reviewing the Gung Ho perk, or more accurately, I'm going to be giving you warnings about this perk. Unfortunately, I don't feel that it's a very good perk. It's a little bit buggy, and it does some unusual things to your guns, especially shotguns, which we're going to be looking at today. But right now, you're looking at one of the guns on which it goes very well, which is the SAC3 Akimbo SMG. It's going to go ahead and show you the full game of momentum on Ascend, even though I got off to a rough start. Pretty much always do that. The thing that Gung Ho does for you, which you can read there in the perk menu and experience very easily is that it allows you to shoot while sprinting or sliding. Previously in any Call of Duty game you could not shoot any gun while sprinting. You had to transition either hip fire or aim down sights and you also could not shoot while sliding. You could slide in ghosts and you could dolphin dive in black ops but you couldn't shoot during either. In Advanced Warfare if you run this perk you can shoot while sliding on your knees and it can be kind of neat to get you some kills here and there. It's really more for show than anything. Not the most useful unless you would use it say with maybe attack 19 or a bulldog shotgun and dash in and shoot while you're sliding. Unfortunately, you're going to get a massive accuracy penalty to shotguns when sprinting when you use this perk. Normally, you couldn't even shoot when sprinting, but when you sprint and use the gung-ho perk, your accuracy penalty is just... It's, it's absolutely bananas. I'm going to go ahead and cut to some gameplay here to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So I went to the firing range and I took some stills of the hip fire of the TAC-19 shotgun. Most of the shotguns have similar hip fire and if you have variants again it'll be very similar. This is standing still, that's the normal hip fire spread and I didn't zoom in on this for a reason. This is the hip fire spread when I'm moving side to side. I'm not sprinting in this case but I'm just sidestepping. It does get bigger as you move and this is the hip fire spread when I'm sprinting and using the gung-ho perk. I didn't zoom out because the hip fire spread is almost the size of the entire screen. I kid you not, it's just that crazy and it does affect your accuracy. For comparison, this is your normal hip fire spread again while you're walking side to side. Not the most accurate thing in the world, but I'm going to overlay this red circle. This red circle is your gung ho hip fire spread, which is your accuracy and your bread and butter on shotguns, and that makes it awful, terribly inaccurate, and very unlikely to get one shot kills, and shotguns aren't super strong in this game to begin with. I'm going to go ahead and show you some gameplay of this just to show you that I'm not making this up. Opening up my menus, I'm going to look through here real quick and double check myself three times to make sure that I've got the class with Gung Ho on it when you see this. I'm going to sprint around just a little bit to show you the normal crosshairs, how we would sidestep, and then when I sprint they get absolutely huge. You're really not going to hit anything like that, and it was something that I missed, honestly. I just kind of totally forgot about it when I was first playing, but I am going to shoot that wall and show you the hip fire accuracy. I had to sprint at the wall to get the screenshot earlier. But look at that spread. You need like three, four, maybe five of those to kill somebody. And look at how far spread apart they are. There is no way you're going to get anybody like that. It really, really messes up shotguns, which is a shame because you'd think it would be a shotgun centric perk. It's also worth noting that if you sprint and jump into the air, you're going to maintain that accuracy the entire time that you're in the air, which is kind of weird. Like if I'm standing still and jump into the air, I get the normal hip fire accuracy, but if I'm sprinting and I jump into the air, I kind of get the constant hip fire of the super crazy wide gung ho while I'm in the air. The next thing it does is it has a wonky aim down sights transition for most weapons. Many of you have noticed, a lot of you said it's glitchy or buggy. I think it's just that the transition is delayed, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you that with the BAL-27, that's the most popular gun. So this is the regular BAL, I think it's the 223 variant, but I'm just kind of showing you sprint, run, aim down sights, uh, pretty normal, you've seen that in every Call of Duty game. But when I load up Gung Ho, you're going to notice that the animation looks kind of weird or stutters a little bit. I, it doesn't actually slow down your aim down sights transition or speed it up, so there's no gain or loss there, but unfortunately I find that to be very uncomfortable and not really worth it. I don't know, it just kind of messes up the feel of the weapon for me. On the plus side of this perk, one of the only reasons that I use it and on some of the only classes is that there are no penalties for the SAC-3 submachine guns and the XMG light machine guns. These are the SMGs and LMGs that come akimbo by default, you can't un-akimbo them. Uh, they're the akimbo weapons in the game, you get no penalty to the hip fire accuracy, no penalty to any of your sort of transitions or anything. It's a purely bonus perk on these weapons and I highly recommend it for these two and for the KF-5. I really feel that Gung Ho is only viable for the two akimbo weapons in this game and for the KF-5. And I initially thought that it would be viable for shotguns, but with that hipfire spread, and you're gonna forget and you're gonna shoot it while you're sprinting, it's really 
n not even worth it when you can't even kill anything like that. And the KF-5 has that nasty three-shot kill range up close, and it's a very aggressive in-your-face SMG. So I feel that on the KF-5, even with the weird aim down sights transition, that Gung-Ho is viable for that, but pretty much not for any other gun. If you're running Gung-Ho on any weapon except for the three on this list, I would highly recommend you take it off and use some other perk. Well guys, that's all for this in-depth episode. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something useful. If you'd like to check out the previous episode that was a full SN6 gun review and all the variants, the next episode is going to be on the parabolic microphone attachment. That's kind of a fun one for me. And as always, if you enjoyed, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.